I'm Robert P. Clark, and I'm going to read you a poem from Dwell Time 2. The poem is called Find Your Own My Time. Find your own space with the face that you're on as the train stops at the station. Lift your head up from that phone. Raise a brow, very brow. We're not quite there just yet. So I bury my face back down, smart. I find my own time. It's not really that cool. Hashtag, it's sad in the end. I'm a bit lonely really, and a bit depressed too. I missed all that action. The lively scenery passing by, rolling hills, green and lush, and a fleeting glance in the distance of the Emily Moore mast. And looking out over Denbydale, from its impressive arched bridge, if only I'd stopped off there, I could have eaten a slice of the pie. Then stopping at Penniston, the music hall from the past, playing old dancing music, swaying along with it and singing out loud. And as we pass Silkston Moor, and then on towards Barnsley, which has a place in my heart, where my dad really smiled. Born in a terrace there, he really embraced this place, and just before he passed, he reminisced about the past, his childhood experiences, playing out in the street and I looked up from my smartphone. I'd have probably missed this. All my historical connections, all my past, finally catching up and I finally find my own dwell time with a face that I'm on as the train stops at the station I lift my head up from the smartphone, that's my life. I raise a second brow, now, just past Meadowall, the Sheffield lab I've turned into. I get up to depart from the train terminating and I dream of a time when we can all enjoy this dwell time I've enjoyed.